In 2007, fashion designer and self-styled queen of punk, Vivian Westwood was voted one of Britain's living icons. Final proof that even the most unconventional figures can become part of the establishment, given enough time and goodwill. The female face of punk was born Vivian Swire to working class parents in Glossop, Derbyshire in 1941. A brief stint at art school led to college and a teaching career. She married Derek Westwood and had a son. But after three years of marriage, Vivian met Malcolm McLaren. The world changed, and not just for Vivian. I think taste is very, one of the most difficult things. In, I think it's more rare than intelligence. Not many people have taste. I think, I think my things survive. I think they, it's like going on a tightrope. I think it, at the end, it's a triumph. It works. For a while, Vivian continued teaching, but in 1971, she and McLaren opened a shop together in Chelsea's Kings Road. Let It Rock sold Teddy Boy gear, but they later opened another place down the road at number 430. Simply known as Sex, it became the outlet for Vivian's non-conformist creations. I don't know, we just had this idea to um, take things from the... Um, from sadomasochism, from the underworld, and, and put them forth every day. I don't know, rubberware for the office, that was our idea. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, and yes, you, we used to, I used to stop the traffic when I used to walk down the street in rubber negligees and fishnet tights, because it, it, uh, everybody else was dressed like hippies, and it looked really good. The sex store was a magnet for figureheads of the punk movement. Famously, the Sex Pistols auditioned Johnny Rotten there. People like Jordan and Adam Ant were visitors, and Chrissy Hind of The Pretenders worked there for a while, before being fired for fighting with a customer. The first major retrospective of Vivian's work was held at London's V&A and the National Gallery of Australia. It showcased 145 outfits and is currently touring the world. The designs featured safety pins, dog chains and collars, bondage gear and razor blades but also more establishment touches, like her great fondness for tartan. Vivian became famous for ripping up the rule book when it came to fashion. Her clothing designs were revolutionary, and her impact is still felt today. Influences she has adapted include 17th and 18th century wear, ethnic Peruvian styles, and knitwear. Vivian has been named British Designer of the Year three times. She's also been recognized by the very establishment that Punk tried so hard to tear down. In 1992, she was given an OBE that caused headlines when she did a twirl for the camera, only to reveal she wasn't wearing any knickers. 14 years later, in 2006, she received the ultimate British honor when she was made a dame. But true to form, she later admitted that she'd left the underwear at home on that occasion too. She may be 66 and a grandmother now, but Vivian clearly has no intention of fading quietly into the night. She still owns the shop at 430 Kings Road, although now it's called World's End, and she sells her Anglomania line from there. Her love of the subversive and her outspoken condemnation of what she sees as the dumbing down of culture remain as strong today as they ever were. A recent T-shirt range reminded the public of this, should it have slipped their minds for a moment, the T-shirts bore the topical slogan, I'm not a terrorist, please don't arrest me. A living icon, indeed.